We've got a nice trick identity to play with here. We've got cosec of theta minus sine of theta on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have cos squared theta over sine theta. Okay, so let's start with the left hand side. Now, we're going to use our strategy to turn everything into sines and cosines, which is usually a good strategy to solve these things. So we know cosec is just 1 over sine, so the left hand side can be turned into 1 over sine theta minus sine theta. Now we want to simplify this by turning it into a fraction, a single fraction, so if we multiply by sine theta over sine theta, our second term, we're left with 1 over sine theta minus sine squared theta over sine theta. And we can turn this into a single fraction, 1 minus sine squared theta over sine theta. Now, we want to turn this 1 minus sine squared theta into a cos squared theta to make it match the right hand side. And we have a trick identity that we can use here. We can use the simple Pythagorean identity that sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of an angle is equal to 1. Rearranging that, we just get 1 minus sine squared of an angle is equal to cos squared of an angle. Simple rearrangement. So, using that Pythagorean identity, we get left hand side is equal to cos squared theta over sine theta, which is just our right hand side. So our identity is proven. So notice the strategy that we used here. Just manipulate one of the sides. Sometimes you can't always do that. We converted everything to sines or cosines and we used our Pythagorean identity.